Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Sundays at Tiffany's. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany Beeston from Beauty and the Beeston's. Every single Sunday, I put up a motivating video to get ready for the week ahead. However, today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's motivating, but in a different way. So as many of you know, we are having our entire downstairs remodeled. We're knocking down walls, taking out desks. You can probably hear the construction in the background today. They're putting all new flooring down. Um, so it's kind of been hard to do like my normal like cook and clean videos. So today's video, like I said, is a little bit different. It's going to be a home shop with me because we got rid of our kitchen table. We kind of have a whole new layout. We have a brand new laundry room and a mud room, a new pantry. So lots of awesome things to shop for and just kind of restyle the downstairs. So I'm taking you to shop with me at both Home Goods and Home Sense. Today's video is also going to be a collaboration with my friend Lauren Stewart. She is an amazing mama who just kind of recently started her YouTube journey. She's been doing her blog and Instagram for a really long time, but I love her. She's super inspiring. So Lauren is also a mom of three. She struggles with PCOS and she has had lots of infertility treatments to be able to have all three of her children. So that's like something that I know a lot of you can relate to. And she's actually going to be starting for fertility treatments again this February to have her fourth baby. So I know a lot of you can relate to that and I think you'll find some great comfort in her channel since, you know, I feel like being able to relate to somebody is so important. So Lauren is going to be shopping specifically for her dining room. She's had some things done to her home lately and is completely redoing the furniture and stuff in her dining room. She doesn't even have a dining room table right now and I can relate to that because we don't even have a kitchen table right now. So make sure you check out her video when you're done watching mine. I'll have all of her information linked below and let her know that Tiffany sent you. Again, I know you're really going to love her channel and her Instagram and her blog and all of it. So let's get right into the video starting off with home goods. And by home goods, I mean home sense. So let's get shopping. As soon as I walked in, I saw a really cute, kind of like a small sofa that I really liked. However, we really have no place for it, but I still wanted to show you things that I thought were really cute. I'm in the market of a new computer chair. The chair I have is plastic. It's really pretty from Ikea, but it really hurts my back when I'm sitting on it, which I'm currently sitting on it right now as I record this. But yeah, I'm looking for a cozy computer chair. I really like this organizer because I love organizing things. It's great if you have a space in your closet for makeup or hair products, beauty supplies, anything like that. I thought this was really cute too until I saw the price. I was literally shocked at how much this cost because it's just like an acrylic organizer, but look how much money this is guys, $130 for this piece of plastic. I was definitely shocked by that, but I do think it's really pretty. One thing I really want to put into the downstairs now are some more bigger plants. I mean, this is a fake plant. I'm still debating on real versus fake, but I just think it will brighten up the space, just make it look more fresh and add some color to it. I also came across a ton of these shelves. Um, there's all different shapes and colors. I really like the gold and white ones. The shelving part of it was like a white wood and they're very inexpensive. I'm just not sure what exactly I wanna do on the walls because I want to do less more than anything. I want like a very minimal space with less stuff. So I don't wanna be cluttering up the walls, but I did really like these. Next, I'm thinking of like what I could do for toy storage downstairs. This looks really cute. It wasn't that expensive, but it's just not practical. Um, I think I really want to do a toy chest like this one here. Um, not necessarily that this is a toy chest, but this chest would be perfect to be like a piece of decor, a little bench, and then it just hides the kids' toys so it doesn't look like your living room is a playroom. So I really liked that. I had the same idea for this, but this just wasn't enough space. This is more for like a TV stand. Um, as you see, there are holes for the electric to run through, but I did like the barn door on it and I thought it was really cute.
moving on to rugs we talked about this quite a bit but we're getting a new rug for the downstairs living room where the tv area is um and we're debating getting a smaller rug for under our kitchen table um a lot of people said ruggables were really good that you can just throw those in the washer but now chris and i are debating not even putting a kitchen table in and just using the dining room just to leave that space super open um and maybe getting the kids like a little tiny white children's table for when they wanted to have their breakfast um, in the kitchen. What do you guys think about this rug that I just showed you? And it also has like a runner, so I was debating maybe this one in the laundry room. They were affordable. I'm just not sure if I wanna go for that like white and black look. And then these I really liked because they're like little waterproof mats and I think these could go in the laundry room as well since I did not go with a trendy um, laundry room tile. I kinda just went with a plain one, so I thought that might be cute in the laundry room. This was another option, it's a little bit too big, um, just thinking of storage for the living room, but then I noticed that it's like missing a leg and kind of just doesn't go with what I want. I'm trying to really stick to the less is more. So I'm leaving HomeSense empty handed. I'm walking over to HomeGoods now to check out what they have. Of course, most of you know I am a junkie for organization. I love it, it makes me happy, it makes me less anxious, and I enjoy doing it. So I promised my sister I would organize her entire kitchen for her. So now I'm shopping for organizers for her kitchen. I got a ton of stuff as you'll see, and stay tuned because this Tuesday video is my sister's kitchen. I decluttered it and I organized it, and the before and after transformation is unreal. I really enjoy organizing, but I pretty much organized every spot in my house. However, now that the downstairs is completely redone, there's gonna be tons of organization going on down there. The laundry room, the kitchen, lots of decluttering, um, redecorating. The downstairs is basically like starting with a blank canvas, so I'm looking forward to that. However, sometimes I think about finding local subscribers and coming and organizing their house because that's how much I love it. Okay, so we got all the organizers I need. Now I'm over here looking at um, toy chests and things like that again. I always liked this particular toy storage. I've seen it at Target and like all kinds of places. However, now that I saw that little bench that you can just open up and close, I'm really thinking I want something like that, that the toys will be hidden. And now I'm looking at plants again, really debating on the real versus fake plant. I am kind of leaning towards real even though I know it's something else that I'm going to need to take care of, but I like the fact that it will purify the air 
and just have like that nice freshness to our house and now to the mirror so you know we have that mirror above the couch in the tv room i want to get rid of that and i was debating again like gold versus white my comfort zone wants me to do white because that's just my style i like very fresh and like crisp minimal looks um i really liked both of these white mirrors but at the same time i was kind of debating a gold mirror And that is it for my little shop with me. I did wind up buying a ton of organizers. I didn't purchase anything as far as like home decor or anything like that because I'm still just so unsure of where I want to go. And a part of me is wanting to do like Wayfair or Joss and Maine. But stay tuned because we're going to talk about all of this stuff. I hope that you guys enjoyed that shop with me. I feel like I didn't find a lot, so here's where we need to talk. You saw some of the things that I really liked in the video. Like, I think we definitely want to do a toy chest that like doubles as a trunk and just like looks nice and you know can hide some toys. Um, so that's one thing. Also, for the mirrors, do you think I should put a white mirror above the couch or do you think I should do gold? And then plants, I definitely feel like we need a plant. So I'm struggling with, yes, fake plants are beautiful, they're easy to care for, but real plants actually help like cleanse the air and things like that, so what plant do I get? And then I'm really struggling also with like, do I go with like the basic black and white like decor and just do like pops of color? I don't know, like we're, we're painting the walls the same, like they're gonna be light French gray, uh, by Sherwin Williams, I think it is, uh, but we use that color for like everything, just what we really like. Um, so the walls are gonna stay that color, the floors are gonna be like a darker hard hardwood. So I'm just struggling. I feel like we definitely need pops of white to brighten everything up, but like as far as the rug, like everything, like I'm not exactly sure what to do. Also struggling with um, doing like another command center since we kind of like built a wall out um, where you would normally walk into the living room. I have like this whole little corner now, so I'm like debating getting like a corner desk and making a cute little command center over there by the living room, but I would love to hear your ideas because the shopping really like inspired me and gave me some great ideas, but I feel like it also confused me at the same time. And to be honest, I feel like I didn't see any tables that I liked at either of those two stores. We didn't have a ton of time to shop because we quickly, we quickly shopped like while the kids were in school, but I think I'm probably gonna wind up finding everything on like Wayfair, Overstock, Joss and Maine. That's where I usually get things. But if you have any recommendations or like a place that you like to get things from, please comment down below. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this shop with me and thanks for sticking with me through these renovations. I know like my videos have been a little different lately just because I haven't had my entire home to film in, but I hope that you liked it. Don't forget to check out Lauren's video. And if you're new here from Lauren, Thank you so much for watching and I hope to have you stick around. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up.